After the cutting and bending stages comes the welding. At Joskin, each part to be welded is placed on a specific welding jig, which is first built by the development department. On the jig, the parts are joined together by tack welding. This step provides the necessary precision and makes the subsequent welding work possible, which will be carried out either manually or by robots, depending on the part. Welding jigs also play another crucial role, they ensure standardization. Thanks to them, it is possible to retrofit Joskin basic machines even many years after the purchase. In total, the Joskin Group owns 21 welding robots. In most cases, they are fitted with several welding tables, each placed on either side of them. When the robot welds on one table, the operator unloads and reloads the other tables, and vice versa. In this way, the robots work continuously and can supply all Joskin production sites with parts. The precision and homogeneity provided by these robots are essential for an exceptional quality. No extra work is further required. At Joskin, however, all welding works are not robotized. Qualified welders focus on the most complicated parts or the smaller series. Tankers, for instance, are almost entirely welded manually. The equipment of a Joskin slurry tanker varies largely according to the wishes of the buyer. It is therefore not cost-effective to automate it by robot. Yearly, more than 1500 barrels are welded by the Joskin group. Hence, steel sheets and lids have to be delivered with the exact dimensions. There is therefore no waste. Rolling machines with digital control first roll these steel sheets using four roller benches. This equipment allows to manufacture cylinders up to 2.5 meters wide. After their rolling, the tank sections are manually pre-welded on the inside to strengthen them. Two pinch rollers then make a slight bend on the outer edge of the tank sections to allow them to overlap, thereby ensuring a perfect sealing and a quality welding. The reinforcements and brackets for the inner baffles, which are mandatory for CE standards, are also added. The assembly continues with the tack welding of the so formed cylinder and the installation of the tank cradle. This tack welding is carried out on a jig. The different options chosen by the customer are also welded at this point. Before leaving the galvanizing plant, the tanks are placed on turners to transform the tack welds into continuous welds, both inside and outside the tank. The other products in the Joskin range are usually welded in a three-step process. The components are first placed in jigs, then they are tack welded. Finally, once removed from the jig, they are provided with a continuous weld carried out by qualified welders. As a reminder, the choice to work with jigs underlines the industrial aspect and the desire to guarantee a homogeneous production, a perfect traceability as well as a possible retrofitting. Some of the more standard products, such as monocoque tipping trailers or livestock trailers, are continuously welded by robots after leaving the tack welding jig. This is possible as their series design is usually identical. Only the length or height of their body varies. After the welding comes the surface treatment, either by galvanization or shot blasting followed by a primer and then a finish coating by industrial two-component paint before being sent to the drying oven. 